Well, you've been good enough to front up a couple of times this season when things haven't gone well on the pitch. What's it like fronting up when things are going well on the pitch? Rovers are in good form at the moment. Yeah, we're doing all right. Um, it's, yeah, as I said, it's going well. Uh, we're pleased, you know, quietly going under the radar. We've moved up a fair few uh, rungs on the ladder, which is good. Um, but still, we're only in September, so we're nothing then. Uh, May's the time we've got to be looking at the table. Yeah, Daryl Clark, keen to point out, we mustn't get carried away by Rovers' good form. Is that rubbed off on the players? Are you not getting overexcited <coughs> by the um, the run of form? No, it's good. It's also, you, know, you know, you prefer win. Obviously, you prefer winning than than losing. Um, but it, it's one of them where you have to keep your feet firmly on the ground. Could have come unstuck the weekend, but thankfully, you know, the, the boys at the back done their job and. Uh, Credit to them. I think you know the, the back five for us really got us the win on Saturday and pulled us through. Um, but it, it, it's it's going to be times like that where things are going to be, you know, we're, we're going to be up against it against uh, a side who we're struggling. Um, you know, we I think we deservedly took a, a good one nil lead. Maybe should have made it two and three. Um, unfortunately, we didn't, which then gives them a, a little bit of a lifeline. You know, and it was back to the wall stuff, but. I think maybe if that were that was a game at the start of the season, we probably would have drawn it, got on to lost, it, got on to lose it. But you know, it's the character of the boys that have really pulled us through and managed to get three and that's five wins now. Mm. How do you react when you have an ugly win? Do you do you look at the performance? Are you disappointed by that, or do you not really care because you've got three points? I don't care a kipper. I don't care a kipper. It's three points at the end of the day. Um, that's all that matters to me. All that matters to the boys as well. So. Um, yeah, you'll, you'll take it however way it comes. Of course, you want to you want to play fantastic football, and win three or four nil. But it's not going to be the case every week um, for us. You know that that's as good as a three four nil win. We've not ha really had to do that. You know we, we played all right for half an hour of the first half, but then for the rest of the sixty minutes, you know we, we for whatever reason weren't at the races and, and we camped in our own half for the majority of the time. So it shows we can do both sides, which is good and will uh, stand us in good stead. It's got to be a good thing, isn't it? You've won five games in a row, and yet we know there's an improvement to come. There is, yeah. But that would say that there'll probably be other sides as well who are thinking the self same thing. Um, we can only concentrate on ourselves. Obviously, we've got a very tough game tomorrow night, and you know they're a big spending side. Um, you probably, as, as daft as it sounds, for a, for, for a small club, will have a, a bigger budget than us. Um, we've got to respect them for that. Go there. Hopefully, you know, come back with three points. That's what we're aiming to do. Yeah, um, I've got um, a number of experienced players in the team, haven't they? I think James Constable up yeah, front, yeah. Craig Stanley used to play for Rovers. A um, yeah. lot of lot of talent there that you're going to be up against. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know they've all got football league experience. Um, so no, we, we've got a few. Uh, so it's going to be an even. I'd, I'd say it's going to be an evenly contested contest, and it's going to be one of those where whoever gets the first goal will probably go ahead and win it. So. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be us. Yeah, you made a statement, I think, getting into the playoff zone so early into the season. Um, will you make a statement if you can win it easily tomorrow and become the first side to win there this season? Of course we will. Yeah, of course. It's, you know, There'll be self-same teams that will do the same with us. Who's going to be the first team to win at the Mem? Um, you know, they're going to want to retain their unbeaten record there. Uh, but it's up to us as a, as a collective squad to, to go there. We're in, we're in good confidence. You know, we're five wins on the bounce. But you don't get overconfident. You go there, respect the game as it is, and hopefully come back, as I said, with three points. If we don't come back with a point, the one thing we don't do is we don't lose. Yeah, and Rovers are scoring some spectacular goals at the moment, yourself included. If there's a free yeah. kick 25 yards, are you automatically the man to take it? Uh, no, no, no. As I said before, it's um, there's, there's been a lot made of it, really. But I think once you get over it, you have to obviously assess what the, what's going on with it, really, where, where the keeper stood and what the wall's like, obviously. We, myself and, and Lee Brown do a fair bit of work after training with it to, to some ribbing from uh, from the rest of the lads. But yeah, you know, Jake's the weekend was fantastic. You know, um, I know mine was good, but I actually thought Cunny's was better uh, on Saturday. From my the, the finish was sublime. The, the cross was excellent as well. So, we're scoring goals. That's that's the main thing. It don't matter how they go in off backsides or 30-yard top corners. They don't care as long as we win a game.